first and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Wawrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well, you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters also, and the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him endearing and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. So this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 6. For the Most High, Yahweh, hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, hates sinners. He doesn't love the sinner and hate the sin. No, he hates the sinner and he hates the sin. A lot of our people are not coming into this truth because the Lord hates them. And this is what we have to understand. The fact that we're in this ministry, yes, it's the Lord's will. Whether or not we're speaking of truth or whether we're speaking deception. <coughs> That's of the Lord's will. But those who are in this truth wholeheartedly, that is the Lord's way of showing mercy because the Lord hates sinners and we all naturally are sinners but, but the Lord can't stand a serial sinner a person who just makes sport of sin okay for the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly as we get closer to the kingdom we are going to see more and more how much the Lord hates his enemies. Because the Lord is a merciful power unto his elect. He's a very merciful power unto those who fear him. But he's also a very wrathful power. He's also something to be fearful of. Okay? The Lord isn't playing with none of us, man. He's not playing with me. He's not playing with you. He ain't playing with them. He ain't playing with them over there. He ain't playing with them down there. He ain't playing with them up there. Yahweh by Shemi Shai is about his word. And the fact that it's written he hates sinners, it means just that. Okay? Let me close this. Let's go to Proverbs <clears throat> chapter 8 and verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Yahweh by Shemi Shai hates sinners. So we are supposed to be just like Yahweh by Shemi Shai. We are to hate sinners. We ain't supposed to be of this world. We ain't supposed to be in agreement with this world. We're supposed to be in total opposition, regardless of who it is, man. Regardless of whether it's your, your father, your mother, who we are indeed to honor. Or whether it's your father, your mother. Your, your, your earthly brother, sister, first cousin, second cousin, uncles, aunts, whoever. Whoever it is, man. If they are wicked as hell, Yahweh by Shemi Shai is not going to extend his hand unto them on the side. The majority of our people cannot receive this truth because they're evil. They have an evil heart. This world has taught our people lies. Oh, the Lord, he's just mercy. Lord is all love, brother. You can do whatever you want. The Lord knows your heart. All you have to do is believe on him. He loves you. He knows that you an evil nigga and you ain't trying to get right. That's all right. All you have to do is just say, forgive me, Lord. That's a doctrine of hell that will get you destroyed. Yahweh by Shemi Shai wants us to be as him. We are to hate wickedness, man. We ain't supposed to be like these people. And a lot of men in this ministry, just observing their spirit, 
if you didn't know they were in the ministry, you would figure they belong in the world. You would think they were just like everybody else because of their demeanor. Okay? Or uh, demeanor. I said demeanor. <laughs> because of their demeanor. Okay? So, reading this again. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. All that is wickedness, man. The Lord hates a proud man. The Lord hates a proud spirit. And guess what? Pride is also hateful before men. A lot of these so-called um, rappers, they end up getting robbed because of their arrogancy. Okay? It's not wrong to have nice things. But to flaunt it in such an arrogant manner amongst your people who don't have that, nobody likes that, man. And the Lord don't like that kind of attitude. The Lord don't like a man who feels like he knows everything. You can't tell him nothing. You try to give him the word, and he's like shrugging the shoulder like, man, I ain't trying to hear this shit right now, man. You know, just arrogant, real stubborn. And stubbornness and arrogance really go hand in hand, you know? But the Lord hates that. And the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. So the Lord hates. <clears throat> He's not 100% love and 0% and, and hate, man. He's 100% love. He's 100% hate. He's 100% merciful. He's 100% going to beat people to powder. Okay? The Lord is complete in all his works and all his actions. And he completely hates evil, man. So a lot of our people who are just, you know, not showing any signs of wanting to come into this ministry, fuck them. Okay, and I have to say it like that. The Lord is going to strike them down. And I believe the word, the F-bomb as you would call it. In German, I believe the word is F-U-K. I haven't gone into it in a while, but it means to strike. So, the Lord is going to strike a lot of people down. So, although I'll be like, the Lord going to fuck a lot of people up. Yeah, the Lord is going to strike a lot of people. The Lord is going to take down a lot of people. Okay? Because he has a lot of enemies. Let's stay in the book of Proverbs. Chapter 6 and verse 16. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. So the Lord completely hates these things. And the number seven goes into completion. So the Lord has a complete hatred for these things that I'm about to read. A proud look. You know, you try to tell somebody this truth. They, they, they give you this look like, nigga, who you, man? You can't tell me nothing. Look, man, you see my car? I'm in a 2023. You in a 1992, nigga. Get out my face, bro. I ain't trying to hear that. You know, you got a lot of arrogant Israelites like that, man. You got men because they're not as seasoned with their word or they haven't been in the truth as long. When they say things, people will look at him like his words aren't important. They shun that man. They give him this look of like insignificance. Like, nigga, who are you? Right? The Lord hates that. A lying tongue. That's common. And hands that shed innocent blood, that's murder. Which is a difference between murder and killing. Okay? If you if you step on a fly, you didn't murder the fly, you killed the fly. But if you uh take a man's life because, oh, you know, I'm jealous of this man. You know, he looked at me funny. That's murder. That's innocent blood you shed. Okay? Ain't heart that devises wicked imaginations. You looking at a man's woman, you plotting the popper. 
you plotting to break in his apartment, his home. You plotting that the Lord overthrow him and give you his position. You really have people who think like this, man. You'd be surprised, okay? Because a lot of us, you know, we we think in in a in a in a loving manner, in a brotherly manner towards our people. But you'd be surprised how far left a lot of our people go when they mind, man. How far left they drift away. A false witness that speaketh lies. Or right, let me jump back. Uh, Proverbs 6 and 18. A heart that deviseth wicked imagination. Feet that be swift and run into mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies. Just like they did to Yahweh Shai. Right? Uh, being swift to run to mischief. Like these niggas in the streets. That street culture bullshit. All right? A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Just like Esau Edom would do. Okay? The Lord isn't just love, man. The Lord has a lot of things that he hates. And the Lord is going to show a lot of you niggas he don't like you. The fact a lot of you Israelites, you're not coming into the truth. The Lord hates you, man. The fact that a lot of you Israelites make fun of us and it's clear as day that what we're saying is coming to pass, that's because the Lord hates you, man. And I'm looking at a chariot right now. And it's slowly hovering in the sky right now. So I'm going to go on ahead and wrap this lesson up. Maybe I'll get it on camera. We'll see what happens because I got to get into this job. So Kahala, Yahweh Ba, Shemi Yahweh Shai, Shalom.